Good afternoon, my fellow handsome men. Anyway, today we're making a mod because I was like, oh, daughter packs aren't enough. Why don't I just make something that'll take me five days and actually drain the life out of me? And by the way, for the record, there was a comment last video saying that I was Walmart Code Bullet, which is a massive compliment because he's a very good YouTuber. However, unlike him, I actually don't know how to code, which has made this slightly more difficult for myself. So yeah, I spent the past week trying to add something to Minecraft because I was like, oh, that'd be fun. And as of present day, I've made one mod that actually works and another that I completely fucked over. So let's have a quick look at the one that actually works, which I'll detail more later on before we go and have a look at the one that I completely ruined. So this mod here is the second one that I started working on, which was not the one that I ruined. I've dubbed it the quote unquote Jay's Mobs mod because I'm going to use it to add several entities to the game. And also I needed something to do with the block bench models I make at school when I'm bored. And so far I'm two hostile mobs in and with one on the way. So that's awesome and all, and I'm sure you figured out by now that the background footage of this small part of the video has been a sneak peek at what the mod has in it. Anyways, let's go have a look at one of the biggest coding blunders I think I've ever made. But this mod, which I initially gave up on, was supposed to add lemons and lemonade because one of my friends told me to do that. They also wanted pink lemonade, which I was not really sure how to craft. I was probably going to add some kind of pink dye to it or something because strawberries aren't in Minecraft. I got about as far as adding the lemon, some of the lemon zest, and about half a crop before I made a mistake, and I rage quit after fiddling with the code for two hours. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Which, as you have just seen, I still have not fixed. And in case you think I actually have mush for brains, here's how you just add one single item. Step 1. Download the mod file from this here website. Also make sure to tick boxes and change the actual title to your liking. Step 2. Go into the mod after opening IntelliJ and edit all of the little configurable settings in the gradle.properties file and also the fabric mod.json. And once you finish that, do forward stop slash gradlew gen sources to be able to get access to all of the normal Minecraft files which will be helpful throughout the process. Step 3. Create a Java class file named mod items. Step 4. Register the item you want in the game in this file. Any added attributes for the items, such as uses like eating, must be added using a separate Java class file, which I'm sure as hell not explaining right now. Step 5. Add the item in the creative inventory with this line of code. Step 6. Use this code in a .json file to make the model of the item. Also make sure to name the file according to how you registered the item in the mod items class. Step 7. Make a texture for the item. And step 8. Boot up Minecraft where your item should now be. Oh, and in case you actually do want to learn how to do this properly, then I'm going to link a tutorial series below, and I think you should go and watch that, it's very cool. And now that I've made you sit through that absolute dragon explanation, let's go see something that's actually impressive that I made. So this mod currently has two fully implemented features, and that is two different little mobs. This first one here is called the Totem Spirit. It does a fair bit of damage, I think a total of two hearts, and it also has 20 health. It can move pretty slowly, but I think the neatest part about it is the animations, because, I don't know, I just think they're cool. Have a look at this. This here is the model in block bench and all the different animations and stuff, you know, just watch them as they go past. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. It spawns in biomes such as the Savannah, the Badlands, and also Tayaga biomes. And then there's the second little creature that I added, which I called the Spore Trap. It spawns in some jungles, and also, most importantly, the Lush Caves, where it will spawn most commonly. These little creatures have a grand total of five hearts of health and do six hearts of damage. They're fairly slow, but it's hard to see them coming when they're hiding amongst the grasses, as you can see in this clip here. I think they're pretty neat, and they have a fun little animation, and also a Un unhinged jaw that kind of just snaps out. Also, don't mind the texture on the back. I was gonna fix that, but I was like, eh, you know, I don't really feel like it. So those are the two mobs that I added to Minecraft, and I think they're pretty cool. They are both hostile, and here's the third mob that I intend on adding, which is gonna spawn in the end, and it's purely based on just knocking you off the island to piss people off. So that's pretty much it. I hope I end up adding some more additions to this mod over time. But who really knows with my schedule of actually doing stuff, considering the fact I'm still in school and I'm absolutely trying to blast through those assignments at the moment, because otherwise I'm going to fail. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye